Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Katrina with Katrina's Graceful Creations. Welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your very own t-shirts inside of Canva. This platform is so easy to use and I love it. I do everything pretty much on this website. So if you've never heard of Canva, where have you been? It's literally one of the best websites for designing. So if you've never heard of Canva, there is a free version and there's a pro version. But when I tell you it's easy, it's beginner friendly, it's so simple to use where you can pull in your own graphics, elements, you can do all types of stuff. I can't even name everything that you can do right now because the possibilities are endless. From templates to mock-ups to YouTube thumbnails to videos to slideshows, presentations, t-shirt designs, Canva is a one-stop shop for everything. I'm not trying to sell you. I'm literally just trying to tell you how much I love this website. So today I'm going to take you through some simple, easy beginner steps on how to create your own t-shirts. I'll be using the pro version, but a lot of the things you can do with the free version as well. And I'll point out how you will be able to know the difference. Either way, you're going to love this website if you've never heard of it before or if you've never used it to design a t-shirt. I'm here to help you guys and I'm going to take you from start to finish on how to design your t-shirts. So without further ado, don't forget to go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button and let's get ready to make a t-shirt using Canva. And then we're going to put it on an awesome blank. Did I mention I'm going to actually make the t-shirt myself? I'm going to show you how you can bring it to life and we're going to be using of course, some lane seven blanks. So let's get started. Let's go. Okay, so I'm in Canva. As you can see, Canva over here. I'm using the pro version up here in the top left-hand corner. That's where you'll know if you have the free version or the pro version. So I paid for the pro. So when you come on the Canva, you can create so many different type of products, presentations, social media designs, websites. I mean, there's just so much. But today we are specifically going to make and design a t-shirt. So you can come over here on the top right and you can click on create a design. And normally what you create all the time will pretty much be up here. So as you see, I normally use this for like, you know, YouTube thumbnails, my Instagrams, all that. But you can come on here. You can type in your um, custom range. So if you want to do a custom size, you can create a custom size. You can switch this from pixels to inches to millimeters to centimeters. So if you wanted to do... Um, Pixels, I believe the pixels for a t-shirt would be 4,500 by 54. That's like the standard size. Or if you wanted to do inches, you can do inches of um, 14 by 16 or 18. However big you want your design to be, you can click create a design. It will create that box for you. But I'm going to go back out to home and I'm just going to click on create a t-shirt. All right, so you see 14 by 18. I think I typed in 16 before, but 14 by 18, I believe, is the standard size. So, yes, that looks a little bit better. The other one was too wide. So this is the size that you want to use to create a template for a t-shirt. So over here in your left-hand corner, you have your text tools where you can create your text. And you can actually, they have some that's already preloaded with different styles, fonts, formats, you know, and effects that you can use. Also, you have your elements tab where you can pull up all different types of elements, frames, images, graphics, everything that you can think of to help you design a t-shirt. You also have a brand hub. So like these are my brand colors that will be here, but that's, you know, irrelevant for right now, unless you already have that set in place. So I won't go into that, but it'll take you through how you can set up your brand templates for your colors. Um, you can upload all your own artwork, images, files, and as you can see here, I have so many different things uploaded because normally I create all of my thumbnails here in Canva, so that's why I have so many different images and artwork already here. If you have saved projects, that's what that's for. You have your apps column, um, but I'm not going to go into all of this um, for today's video. I want to keep it really simple and easy, but if you have Canva, you can come in here and you can dive in and you can learn all about the different apps and how it works with Canva. Okay, so I'm going to come up here into my elements tab and I'm going to type in, even though I want a retro style theme, I'm going to type in vintage sunset and see what pops up. And as you see, it'll bring up everything that they have. So I'm going to open up, see all graphics. 
I'm going to click on that. Now, will you see this little crown at? That lets you know that that's for the paid version. That's for the Canva Pro. If you don't see a crown, that's free. All right. So, of course, the better ones, the better images are with the um, with the crown, with the pro version. So I will be using something that probably has a crown on it, but you can come in here and you can find things that don't have the crown. I'm just going to let you guys know it's worth it to have the paid version. But there's so many different elements and features like removing backgrounds or the graphics that you will want. I'm going to just turn my page black just in case if I use a black shirt I'm not sure what color shirt I'm going to use just yet they also have magic recommendations where if you um, pull up one image so I'm pulling up the half vintage circle if you pull up something and you want something similar that's not exactly what it is you can also click on the magic recommendations and it'll bring up other suggestions for you so right here I have a lot of other Trying to see which one I like best. I kind of like, I might end up with, oh, I'm actually going with um, a light shirt. <laughs> so I might need to get a darker sunset. So let's see. And I'm going to change my color shirt. My color shirt is going to be more of like a tan. So now I need to actually go and change my graphic again to fit. Do I want the red? My background is a little bit too dark. So you can click on here and you can change the color. So let's just change the color just a little bit um, to get it to almost around the color of my shirt. All right, so that's good. Let's go back. I want the circle. I don't really want the heart. Yeah, let's take away the heart. I'm just showing how you can literally play around with this. All right, so let's go with that one. I like this one. All right, so that's that. I'm gonna now pick a font, right? You can upload your own fonts. When I click on add a heading, you can click on the drop down right here and they have tons of fonts, right? So now again with the crown, if you see a crown on here, that's the pro version. So all of the fonts aren't available if you are using just the free version of Canva. So it's kind of worth it to have the pro version. You can also upload your own fonts as well. So if you have fonts already um, installed on your computer, you can actually upload fonts. And I'm going to actually upload um, another font as well. So right here at the bottom, it says upload a font. So I'm just going to go under my downloads and I'm going to up upload this retro font that I have installed. Yes, upload away. So this is how easy you can upload your own fonts into Canva if you don't want to use the ones that's on here. So I'm going to show you this cool wave text effect that you can make your words look like they're waving. So I'm going to show you inside of Canva and I'm going to type out my words, good vibe only, and I'm going to put them each on its own separate line. So I'm just copying, duplicating the words and I'm just changing the words over. I'm going to go into my effects panel and I'm going to use the curve effect. The first word I'm going to curve at 60 degrees, positive 60. The next word I'm going to curve at negative 60. So that way it'll curve in the opposite direction. I didn't like how it looked with the circle so I ended up deleting it so if you did want to ever have a wave effect which I'm showing you you can just do this and you can duplicate it and then you'll have your wave effect you can also let's take it and we're going to type it all on one line okay so now it's all on one line I'm going to delete this because I didn't like it so now I'm going to go back to the effects and I'm going to rotate it up because my circle is up and I want it to fit the shape of the circle. So I said negative 50. I'm going to put it on negative 50. Okay, so negative 50. I'm going to, of course, change the color and I'm going to put it to, I want to match the color that's on here. So I'm going to open up the color tool. I'm going to take the dropper, the picker, and I'm going to bring it to this color right there. Okay. So that way I can match that. I'm going to bring that down. I want to get an image, right? I want to get an image to put inside of this. So now we're going to come under the elements because that's just too plain, right? You can put any image, you know, this is how if you go on Etsy, you see these type of vintage backgrounds for a lot of shirts, dog shirts, cat shirts, anything you want, right? 
So I'm just going to put, let's just see a butterfly. Let's just see what type of butterfly we can get. Um, that's going to look good with this type of background. Hmm. You can duplicate it. So if you want to duplicate images, you can hold the option key and you can drag it out. I'm on a Mac, just so you know. Um, I am on a Mac, so you can hit option. You can duplicate. So I'm just trying to see like what images would look nice. Something simple, but let's look at other things that they have. Again, when you see where it says pro, that means you have to pay. Let's look up peace signs. Peace sign symbol. So we have some peace signs, right? So you have this retro peace sign right here. Um, I like that, but of course I want some melanin hands. So this one right here, boom. Okay, so we got the peace hands. Now let's find some flowers. Let's see. Let's 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 see if we can make this work, guys. I don't know. If I don't like if you don't like it, you can always change it, right? All right. So let's get some retro flowers. So you see you can type in so many different things. So I brought in one of these large floral designs onto the canvas and I tried moving it to the back. You can position your images if you have layers to wherever you want. Whatever you want to be on the front, you can put it to the front. So it was hideous. It was too busy. So I ended up deleting it. So now I'm just bringing in different flowers, different images, resizing them, positioning them how I want to see what works best. You have to play with it until you get the look you want. I want to show you guys different things. So if you have an image and you want it on both sides, you can um, right click or you can come up here after you duplicate it. I'm going to duplicate it and now I'm going to flip it, flip it horizontally. Okay. Now I'm going to bring that one down here. Once you have your image size to whatever size you want it, then that's when you want to duplicate it. That's when you want to flip it. Okay. So I already had it to the size I want it. So now also I want to make sure this is centered. Do you see when I move it, there's a line that appears on the screen. That's the center of the circle and that will give me the center of the shirt. All right. So you want to make sure you have everything centered and lined up. That's that. going to bring this up about right here. I'm going to do this and I'm going to now reverse it the opposite way and we're going to put something at the top. Make sure it looks like it's equal distance. There we go. Boom. How about that guys? I don't really like the flowers, but <laughs> let's see. Let's see. I don't really like the flowers. But I'm showing you guys how you can make a simple image. You can bring in any graphics, anything you want. I think I will go back to um, some butterflies. We just need something else in here. Okay, so I'm just going to take a pause. I want to look and see what they have. Good vibes only. Let's just see what images or graphics come up. So as you can see, you can use some of the things that they have here. They already have some pre-made um, images that you can actually use. So I'm going to delete that and I'm going to see, look at this. So now I'm, I have the good vibes only. But I don't really like that on there. So I'm just trying to see. I'm just trying to see what we got, what we're working with. We're making a t-shirt from scratch, right, guys? You have this. That definitely doesn't go. Um, really like this. So I'm going to just show you two different designs. So I'm going to bring this one down. I'm going to make this background black. Right. Look at that. That looks dope on black. All right. So we're going to save that for later, but we're still going to keep working with this one. We got the good vibes only. Like that, but I don't like those colors. So guess what? We're going to change these colors. So there's a color palette for good vibes only at the top and I'm going to switch out these colors to match the image already that I have selected. So on the left hand side uh, is the color palette for the background of my image. So I'm just going to make everything match. 
And now I'm getting ready to play around with my fonts until I find something that I like. And I got a font called Retro from Creative Fabrica. So when changing the font, you can literally come under here and you can type in keywords. So if you want something retro, you can type in retro and see what fonts come in. All the results that would fit that will come up. So let's just see. I like that one. This doesn't really match. I'm gonna make this all black. Let's make this all black and let's just see. Okay, good vibes only, good vibes only. Um, of course the fonts are different, so I can't make the font match uh, that much because it's a different font, but let's just see. All right, I like that one better, so let's just see how that looks. Guess what, I'm still not 100% with this image, so I'm going to add in like, let's look at vintage images. Let's see, let's see, let's see for some flowers because we still need something. I feel like it's still missing something. Now you see how the words is over here? I need those words. I'm going to pull that down because I'm going to bring the words up on top, right? So we do need something else. One more thing for the bottom. Let's see how that looks on top. I'm gonna bring that forward. So there we go, I have that just like that. Good vibes only. You can stretch that out. Line that up. And you see how it's too far out on the sides? So now I'm gonna go back under effects and I'm going to curve it some more, all right, to bring it in. So it needs to be curved some more with the actual shape of the circle, okay? And now I'm gonna just make it a little bit bigger, and there we go. And there's our shirt, guys. So I'm not gonna do this one, I just want to show you how you can bring in images already over there. So I'm gonna delete that page. And I think that came out nice. Look at that, look at that. Let's go ahead and print this out. Making sure, let's see if I make my little butterfly just a tad bit smaller. Yep, I like that. I'm so extra, I added one final butterfly to go right in the center to complete this image. Butterflies in the sky. I can go twice as high. Okay, and I am done with my Good Vibes Only t-shirt. Um, so again, showed you guys how to pull in your images, showed you guys how to pull in fonts, showed you how to use the graphics, showed you how to use um, images already on Canva, how to change the colors, how to change the fonts, all of that good stuff. So there's so much more you can do. Um, under the effects tool, if you come under here, this I only use the curve effect, but you can use the neon effect, the glitch effect, they have the eco effect. I believe that's how you pronounce it. They have the outline effect. If you want to use outline, you can adjust all the, um, the thickness, different things like that. Um, you can use the lift tool. I use that a lot. You can increase or decrease the intensity. You can use a shadow tool. Some of them are really kind of similar. You can change the color of the shadow. Just wanting to show you, you can change the color of the shadow. And then you don't have to have any effect at all. But again, I'm using the curve tool. Now I gotta go back and change it. Okay, and I'm not sure where I had it exactly. Let's put it to 70, 70 I believe is good. But just wanted to show you there's all different types of effects that you can use on your text, all right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download the image. I'm gonna come under here under share. I'm gonna click share and I'm gonna download it and I'm gonna make sure it's in a PNG background. That's gonna remove the background, okay? So I'm gonna save it as a PNG, click transparent background. I'm gonna also name my image. Let me name it before I forget. Good vibes only T. Again, I'm gonna click share, download, make sure it's selected PNG. If you click the drop down, you have all other different forms, JPEG, PNG, PDF, so on and so forth. 
So make sure PNG is selected and make sure you click transparent background. That way it's going to remove the tan. I only had it there so that way I can kind of see what it's going to look like on my tan shirt. So now I'm going to click download. All right, and it'll also show you right here a preview of what it will look like on the shirt as well. All right, so now it's downloaded. Now it's time to print this baby out. All right, so this is my Prestige A3+. Plus. I'm going to go ahead and put in my paper. I'm using 11, um, I think it's like 11 by 16 paper size. I'm going to bring in the, the little lever. I'm using a Catlink software. I pulled in my image into Catlink and it is transparent. So that's the key. It flips automatically in reverse. I'm just going to put the little tray to catch it when it comes out. I ran my nozzle head check. So I'm not taking you through all of that. I'm just going to show you how I'm going to print the image. And we're going to put this on a lane seven blank. I'm going to pull up my top tray, the one that keeps falling over. Okay, so I'm going to send this to print and then see how it comes out. All right, there it goes. It's going to start printing. That's getting ready to come out looking good so, so while my DTF image is printing out I wanted to show you these awesome blanks that I got some are some of the same as before but just some different colors so we're gonna skip right to the ones that you guys know that I love which is the vintage now I had the vintage on the short set everyone said they love the gold and it was my favorite color too so they sent me the vintage uh, mustard in the um in the pants as well so i tried on the mustard short set i only had the mustard top with the mustard shorts so lane seven sent me the sweatsuits to match the bottom because i loved it they sent me that with the actual hoodie to match so if you don't know what this is if this is your first time here you have to go back and watch some of my previous lane seven videos where i model all of their stuff they have like the best blanks for sweatsuits so they sent it to me in the mustard and I'm gonna have the website link down below and of course they sent it to me in the denim I love this color with the matching hoodie they have the short sets they have the tees and I'm gonna be designing a full outfit um, I've embroidered on them I've actually did the puff vinyl on them today we are doing a DTF on lane 7 so I'll come back around I'll circle back around to the um, actual vintage short sets because we're gonna be actually hooking that up as well so I want to show you that that's the full one we got some um, we have another white vintage hoodie another white vintage hoodie but I want to get to what we're gonna be working on today now these are their crop hoodie tees I love these come on belly out with the crop I love these of course it has the hood on here these things are so soft I'm telling you so again the website will be down below and this is the crop hoodie this is a size small I got this I could have put the good vibes on here I could have right but we're gonna use these today these are their deluxe tees so as you see this is the tan color that I was trying to match in Canva so this is the tan color and I also have it in the, what color is this? Um, in the, the pale pink. Love this color. So these are their deluxe tees. Really soft blanks that you can get. They have vintage. They have deluxe tees as well. So these are unisex tees for men and women. So we're going to throw the DTF image on here. Lane 7 blanks. If you want, sign up for their wholesale account and you can get some awesome blanks from their website. All right. Thank you, Lane 7. Let's go check on our prints. All right. So here is our DTF image. You want to be really careful when placing it in. I have me a little scoop that I'm just going to use and I'm going to put some powder over here. This is the DTF powder. Again, all of this comes from Heat Transfer Warehouse. They now sell the um the all-american 
print supply, prestige, all the accessories, everything. You can get points and everything when you sign up and you spend with um, Heat Transfer Warehouse. So that's why I like Heat Transfer Warehouse for all my printing needs. You want to knock off the extra powder, excess powder. I'm going to show you up close. I keep my powder in a nice sealed container. All right, knocking off all that extra powder. Put my little scoop back in there and I'm gonna seal this back. All right, I know y'all wanna see these colors, right? This is my first time looking at it too. I'm gonna cut off the extra little things on the side, but look how vibrant those colors are. And I think it's gonna go really nice up against that color shirt. All right, came out so great. Full color images, one shot, no layering, none of that. I'm done with all that layering, right? So, all right, so now I'm ready to go ahead and take it on over to the curing oven. Let's go. Okay, so this is the Phoenix curing oven. This is my DTF purifier. So I'm gonna go ahead and just lift that up. You want to make sure you have a purifier or some type of vent that's catching all the DTF smoke, the fumes that's coming through. So it's coming through here to make sure that no fumes get out in my room. So 230 degrees Fahrenheit and it's going and it's heating. It's going to cure for 120 seconds. All right, I'm going to shut that off, move that over and lift that up. And let's see how that image turned out. Look at that. Guys, that looks so good, so vibrant. Let's go ahead and press it. Okay, so I have the pale pink shirt and I have the mushroom. Just so you wanna know, this is, I was saying tan, but this is actually the mushroom. I'm just gonna put the image up to both of them to see which one looks best. And I'm loving the way that looks on the pale pink. Okay. Okay, I really like the way it looks up against the pale pink. Let's try it on the mushroom, because I only printed out one image, so I wanna see which one it looks best on. I think either way, either image will look dope. But I do like it up against that tan, <laughs> up against that mushroom. All right, so we're gonna go with that one. It really blends really well, but it could go on either one. All right, so I'm gonna pre-press the shirt. I got my heat press. I'm using my TransPro Plus 16 by 20 interchangeable platen. If you guys don't know what that means, that means I can take this off. I have a full unboxing and I can switch this out and I can change this to like my neck label platen. I can change it to my arm and sleeve platen. I can change it to a baby size platen. Love this heat press. This is my favorite heat press. You guys always ask me which one is my favorite. This one is by far the best one that I had, and it's threadable, meaning I can thread it, separate it, and thread it like that underneath. There's like a slip underneath. I'm not gonna go through all of that right now. I do have a separate video dedicated just for this heat press. When you thread it, you do have to press it upside down like that, okay? But it's really easy to center up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pre-press it for about three seconds, take the moisture out, this heat press is also automatic and manual. You can flip back and forth by toggling the switch right here. Okay, so it's pre-pressed. Now we're gonna go ahead and line up this baby. So I am gonna press it upside down. Upside down, you turning me. I don't even know the words of that song. All right, three fingers from the top. Three fingers from the top. I'm going to use my T-square ruler that you guys ask me all the time where I get from. Heat press nation, baby. Heat press nation. All right. Under the heat press accessories. Link is down below in the description box. As always, you guys know I always give y'all the links to everything. It's always in the description box. Okay. I'm lining this up. This is really easy to line up actually because of the design. Look, I can say that and then it still might come out crooked. <laughs> so can't ever be too careful. That's why I have this T-square ruler, all right? And because that bottom of that circle is straight, that helps me 
to be my guide. Yep, and that came out really well. Eh, that's good. It's just for me. For me. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and press that 325 degrees, 25 seconds. This is a hot peel Teflon sheet. I love this DTF film because it's a hot peel, meaning if I have multiple shirts to do a large order, I can just peel and keep it moving. No waiting for it to cool down. Let's rock and roll. 325 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 seconds. I'm just gonna hold it so it doesn't pop up. Okay. Auto open, move that, and I'm going to peel it off. Ooh, no, that messed up. That messed up. Not enough pressure, I know. Oh my God, I know that did not mess up my design. Come on, probably was not enough pressure. I had adjusted it to do something else. You gotta remember to change your pressure settings. Oh man, I hope this did not mess up my shirt. Let's see, there we go. Gotta have the right pressure. So I messed up just the tip, just the tip of it, only because I did not have the right pressure settings. I'm so mad at that. But guess what, I'm gonna fill that in with something, something. I'm gonna give it a final press. Give it a final press. Gotta have the right, I should've checked my pressure. You need medium to firm pressure and it was just on um, light pressure. Ooh, but we can't deny, we cannot deny the colors. The colors, baby. Look at that, look at that. So you can tell right there, right at the top of the O, where it didn't um, peel down all the way. That looks good. Everything, first of all, is soft as heck. Soft as heck, stretchable, but I did this in Canva, in Canva. Good vibes only, baby, good vibes only. Come on now, you can create your own t-shirts inside of Canva, and you can press them on some of the best blanks out there. Lane seven, baby. And they also have tear away neck labels, so you can tear this out, and you can brand your own neck labels, your own brand on the neck labels. But this looks, Freaking amazing, if I do say so myself. How about that? Let me know what y'all think down in the comments below. All right, guys, there you have it. From the screen, literally from the screen to real life. I wanted to show you how easy it was to make and design, create your own t-shirt from scratch using simple tools inside of Canva. If I can do it, you guys can do it. You, I'm telling you it's that easy and that simple. If you've never used Canva to design your own t-shirts, try it out. There's so many different features, so many different tools, so many different techniques to make fun, crazy, simple designs, and you can make a fortune. You can also upload your images right onto Etsy, print on demand shops, everything, the whole nine. So go ahead and start designing your t-shirts in Canva today. I use Photoshop a lot, but I do use Canva. I wanted to show you how you can do it. If you have any questions, ask me down below. And of course, you can get these awesome blanks. Again, this is the deluxe tee. This is how it fits me. Like it. It has the side seams as well to give you a nice tapered cut and it's not too big on me. This is a size small. All right, so just wanted to show you guys that. I love this color. This is the color mushroom. And again, this is the deluxe tee from Lane 7 that you can use to start your business with. All right, so let me know what y'all think. I love this color. Like this color is just bomb and the design went perfectly with it. So I'll be adding this design to my collection. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Peace. Peace. All right. I'll be getting to the money. Hey, everybody mad. I'll be getting too much money. Hey, everybody mad. <laughs> All right, let me stop because I can't dance. Anyway, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. As always, don't forget to follow me on IG and TikTok for fun reels, behind the scenes, and more at Katrina's underscore Graceful Creations. I will see you in the next video. All links are down below in the description box. Peace.